And you realize that Kenya is bringing up so much in innovation in the tech industry because mm -hmm. they have the, I think, locally generated funds. Like they, they, they're actually pushing for a lot of these innovations. And realize that a lot of Kenyans are innovating and building. So they are doing a lot of 3D printing. They are building uh, windmills to produce, yeah. you know, electricity yeah. you know, in villages and all that. They are, they are doing so much of uh, innovation in, in Kenya. And so, and I believe, you know, guardians are equally talented to be able to do the same. But yeah. like you are saying, the funding is not available, so it becomes really, really difficult to actually push. Because yeah, of course, R and D is is um, heavily you know reliant on on money that's available. So I think that you know, like like you said, once the funds are available, the innovation would be able to thrive, right? And um, uh, I think, um, Joe, yeah. during this COVID period, right, mm -hmm. um, I know you've seen and um, you've seen a number of innovations coming out of Ghana. Yes. Other countries, I don't want to talk about other countries, but let's focus on Ghana. Mm -hmm. I, I think that um, these people uh, innovating, right, they are pushing all their funds in there because they know that if they push funds in there, get some prototype and it gets out there, the government might see and support. Yeah. You get it. That's why you're seeing a lot of innovations mm -hmm. coming up during this period. You get it. Right? So so it's let's hope and 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 and, and pray, right? That um, mm. the thoughts that they are having, right, the government will, will, would actually see and provide some some support um, in terms of funding, right? To help push some of these stuff because nice. once you motivate once you motivate um, people right you begin mm -hmm. to see more of these things yes and i think the president uh let's say, yeah the president is, is 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 advocating for more local content and um um these um is it one district one factory and all those stuff right these are the things that we need they, so they need to support us the innovators, the researchers, they need to support us so that we can feed into this one district, one factory agenda yeah. that we have. Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, I, I hope this video gets to them and they get to hear and they listen to um, our cry and our heed. Uh, or heed to our cry, yeah. So um, it's interesting we, we are talking on this topic, right? Because... I, I know my good friend of mine, uh, George Apia, who is, you know, part of the uh, Ghana Tech Lab. Um, they, so they, they did a hackathon a couple of weeks ago to solicit for ideas and, you know, projects to help fight COVID-19. And okay. so not only in tech, but then medicine and all that. And, and one of the one of the people that went through that program, so they, they had available to them up to ten thousand us dollars to develop their project and one of them that we've gone to got gotten to know is forgotten his name but he's he's called loud or lord yeah, lord, in class. yeah in lord class. yes um yes yeah, so they in color yeah they collaborated with KNUST as well right okay. yeah so they are able to produce some testing kits that are very affordable i don't know how much it costs though but it's able to give a rapid result, I believe. Henry, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, they are, they are, they are still validating it. So, okay. But now it's not in the market. It's not sure, in the market. Sure, yeah. yeah. But I mean, that, those are some of the things. But even the Ghana Tech Lab, it's funded, I think it's funded locally and, and also MasterCard. I yeah, but think it's funded so, so you, Yeah, so <laughs> most of the funding will, will be coming from Mastercard and all that. Yeah, yeah, most will be. I know, I know um, Josh does a lot of stuff with the World Bank and Mastercard and all that. Yeah, so those are some of the funding sources. Yeah. Right? So now we've yeah. seen, um, specifically in Senegal, right, we've seen some great innovation going on in Senegal where they are providing a $1 
testing kits and also um, producing $60 ventilators. And I think the ventilators were uh, 3D printed. And, and actually Senegal has the largest recovery rates in the whole of Africa and third in the entire world. So you yeah. can see how, you know, in, innovation when it comes to science and tech is actually bringing great impact and bringing a great change in, you know, fighting this uh, global pandemic. Uh, what, what are your comments on this? I think it's a really great innovation uh, yeah, from think, Senegal. Think, I think, yeah, for Senegal, we need to commend them. They are doing great. Um, yes, they're working very hard. Yes, and um, I think I was trying to have a look at um, the ventilator that they did. Yeah. Ideas, but I think the news um, item on that didn't really show much. Yeah, of I, I, I know it. that um, yes. a couple of people, right, a couple of companies are using, um, so MIT open sourced one, like a, a ventilator design. So, mm -hmm. and basically you just need to 3D print and you can modify it to your um, use case or your scenario. But um, I, I, I think, you know, I, I think that should be also an option, right? Um, we should be able to also um, use the power of 3D, print, 3D printing to mass produce some of these uh, devices and also make use of, um, because ventilators are, is not a new invention. You don't necessarily have to invent your own new ventilator. You just need to know how to produce it, like what you need to produce and then you start producing. Um, yeah. So I think they are using the power of 3D printing um, to to scale up in terms of producing um, these uh, machines. So yeah. So I think I think for for the 3D printers, right? Yeah. yeah. So the fact that they, they 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 might be printing parts. Yes. Like casing, some tubings and yeah, stuff. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not the actual like the electronics. Core. Yeah, of course, the electronics are yeah. yes. 3D printed. And, and, and um, there's 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 actually um, um, a whole pneumatic system in there. That's that's that one you can 3D print. You get it. So maybe with a case. I don't know. There was a video flying um, on this um, project that we did. That okay. moving forward, we're looking at 3 3D printing some parts and all that to actually make the the, the 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 prototype that we have now look more presentable and um, also in a way design the casing in such a way that would reduce the noise, right? Okay. Because with this one, with this one, we weren't paying too much attention on, um, let's say those nitty gritties you know, like the noise and like, like the noise, right? Yeah. yeah so we find out that the pumps and all those stuff in them make a, a lot of noise. We've tried to minimize it, but it's not the best, right? Yeah, so right. with a better casing, we can we can eliminate the noise. You have a ventilator sitting next to you, and you might not even realize it's there. You get nice. it? Yeah, so so that is when the 3D printing can come in. Right? We can come up with casing and all those stuff there. But for the actual components and all those stuff, that 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 is also in a different dimension. Right? And um, with the component selection and all those things there, eh, I, as I stated earlier, right, that is where the the the, the um, um, ingenuity comes in. You see, okay. you have to you have to be smart when it comes to those selections. Because if I say that, okay, use a resistor for this side, right, or what kind of, or maybe use a relay, right, you mm -hmm. might there's there can be another device or another component that can work just as a relay. You know, relays make noise. They they have a clicking yeah. effect. Uh, yeah, yeah. So if I can have um, another component, something like um, a FET or something, right, which would, would 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 not make too much noise, right, yeah. I can achieve the relay um, uh, feature with my FET or something. You get it? Yeah, yeah. So that is where the the smartness comes in, or the the yeah um, the ingenuity comes in. Okay. So it differentiates the, the one engineer from the other, so that's that.